Hello, everybody. So Congress is at it again, and I'm a little hot under the collar about it. So over the last couple of years, tax laws have changed in the middle of tax season, but understandably so, because we were trying to accommodate the COVID pandemic. Frustrating, but understandable. We got through it. But this year, there are a lot of changes taking place in the middle of tax season that have absolutely nothing to do with COVID, and in my opinion, should have waited until the 2022 tax season, given that it was Congress that couldn't get it together enough to pass these laws before the end of December. It's really frustrating. Now, all preparers are being put in a position where they have to learn something new in the middle of tax season. It's going to delay a lot, but there aren't going to be any extensions in tax deadlines. So let me get started with this. OK, so it affects partnerships and S corporations and S elections. You file forms 1065 and 1120 S. All right. So now Congress wants a way for these companies to report any foreign income sources, which a lot of you are saying, well, great, that doesn't apply to me. I don't have any foreign income. Well, but you might. If your company owns any kind of investment that is being managed by somebody else or by you, there is a chance that you are realizing income from foreign sources that will need to be reported. And the way that they're doing that are adding these forms, these schedules called K2s and K3s that look nothing like a K1, by the way. You'd think that it was similar, but it isn't. And each of those is about 10 pages long. So they're adding about 20 pages onto your tax return. And there is a level of complexity going through with these that we are still trying to figure out. So that's the first thing. We're going to have to report the foreign income differently. Again, I still don't understand why this couldn't have waited until 2022, given that we've gone this long without those forms. But apparently it was an urgent situation for Congress to have handled. Can you tell I'm irritated? Then, in addition to that, we don't have any extension of tax deadlines. All right. The story gets better. No extension of tax deadlines whatsoever. But the IRS is not going to be prepared to take electronically filed 1065s with the K2s and the K3s until March 20th. Did I mention that March 15th is the deadline for 1065s and 1120Ss? And then they won't be prepared to take 1120Ss electronically filed with the K2s and K3s until mid-June. And they don't even have a date for that. They're just saying mid-June at the moment. So that not only delays your corporate return from being filed, but it also delays your individual return from being filed, given that those things are directly related to your individual return. So we're not going to get the extensions. We're going to have to file extensions on all of these companies. And oh, by the way, you're still going to, if you owe money for taxes, it's still due by April 15th. There's no change there whatsoever. So the best thing you can do right now is to prepare those returns to the best of your ability, calculate what you might owe, if any, to the best of your ability, and have that filed by April 15th, and then you'll have to or have it paid by April 15th, and then you may have to file those returns later. In addition to that, not even sure who qualifies. So right now, I'm reading sources that say it doesn't matter whether you have foreign income or not. These forms are going to have to be filled out for partnerships and S corporations, S elections. And then when you read the IRS advice or information on it, they just mentioned that only those returns that qualify. Now, we're not sure what they mean by qualify. Do they mean you qualify just because you happen to be a partnership or an S corporation? Or do you qualify because you actually have foreign income? So we don't know yet. I'll be taking a class here soon. I mean, all of us tax preparers love to have to learn all kinds of new complicated things in the middle of our high pressure season. But there it is. I'm not happy about it. But I'll be working with my clients to get things done to the best of our ability. At, for the time being, corporate returns are going to be halted in my office until I can get the required information. Again, February 24th is when I'm going to be taking my classes. But I have a feeling, this is just my gut, that all 1065s and 1120Ss are going to be delayed because these K2s and K3s are going to be required. So for those of you who have already filed your returns, your 1065s or 1120Ss, you may be doing that one more time before it's all said and done as an amendment. So there we go, everybody. 
Next week, I'm going to be talking about pay, taxpayer responsibilities, just some of them. Uh, and then the week after that, hopefully I will have this all figured out to the best of my ability. And I'll send out another update for all of you partnerships and S corporations out there. In the meantime, hang in there. I think this tax season is going to be a rough ride. Take care, everybody.